So I have my softball. Why is it blurry? Why is it blurry? There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So I have my softball. I have Riley stitched out on it. When I took it apart, I made these two little marks. They were two stitch points that um, were stitched together. So I just took a permanent marker and marked them really quick. And that's where I'm going to start to make sure that it's all good. Got my two strings, my needles, strung with uh, DMC floss. And what I do is I tie off the ends. Okay. So I'm going to start by taking one. Curved needles work best. Okay. I'm going to take one. Where did my notch go? Up right here. And I'm going to string this one through my notch. Through the hole. Kind of a pain. But once you get the hang of it, you'll know what you're doing. So I'm going to... It's a long string. By the way, I waxed my string. I have this uh, bow waxing stick. I just use that. It's what I had laying around, so that's what I use. So until the strings shorten up a little bit, it's going to be a pain, but it's not too bad. Now I'm not going to pull it all the way through because then my little knot, my knot will pull through. So I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to take my other string and find my other mark and take that through there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stop short of it short of the knot. Whoop. Ugh, I got a knot in there somehow. Weird. Okay, I'm just going to pull it through there and I'm going to leave it there because I'll cut this end off here instead because I know that this will be excess. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and you kind of got to follow the the way of the stitching. They're all angled a certain way, so I know that this one's going to stitch this way. So my next piece, I'm following the stitch line, is going to stitch this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my floss here, I'm going to separate the two pieces, and I'm going to slide that needle in there. Okay, and then I'm going to pull it through, and that's how I'm going to attach my two ends. And I'm going to go ahead, back to that same string that I just pulled through, grab my needle, and go into the second hole. That is if I can get it in there. There it is. And I pull it all the way through. Okay, so now this one's attached to that and that one's attached to this. So I'm going to go back to the very first needle that I put through and I'm going to take it and I'm going to string it here through this knot as well so that they're both kind of like, um, you know, usually they stitch them right through all this netting here, but I haven't had that great of luck with it. So I'm doing it a different way. And as you can see, yes, I do get tangled. So until you get uh, going properly here, it's going to be a little bit of a mess. Okay, where's that string that I just pulled through? Okay, so I have that one through there. Usually I'm pretty good at this, but since I'm filming it, I'm a little flustered. Okay. I have to get my correct string here. And I'm just going to go through the back and go right through to the next hole. And once I've got those two knots secured, I can pull all these strings tight and all will be good. Oops, kind of went around that one there, so I'm just going to pull it through. Okay, now my strings are on two separate sides. 
and I'm going to pull them tight. This was that excess string that I was telling you about. What did I do here? Ah, that's what I did. I got to pull those two tight. Okay. So you see I got my first stitch. They're both secured because they're knotted through each other. So now what I do is I continue to go and I separate my strings on each side. So now I'm going to take the right side and I'm going to go all the way over, pull it through, all while I'm holding this one tight so my ball stays together. I pull that tight. Now I hold that one and I go back to this one and I find my end and I go through here. And I pull it through. Oh, my hand got caught around it. And each time I pull it through, I make sure to pull them all tight. And then I go on to my next one. I take that one that I just pulled through and can't come back around to the left side. Okay, so each time you stitch, you'll stitch that same string twice. Okay, now I pull the bottom left piece over. Let's see where is that string? There it is. And I'm gonna go right back through here. And pull it through. Whoop, I caught that string there. That's that excess piece I gotta cut off. So I pull it tight and I keep going round and around and around the same process. That's the same string from the right. You go right, left. Take the bottom one, right, left. Take the bottom one, right, left. And you keep going all the way around. Hope that helps.